Thank you for listening to the Tatnus Podcast on the Tatnus Co. Network. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. A Mercedes kind of sentiment, luxury, and trust in me to honor the free we all should be in. See my sons out burst into yin and yang, right and left, me and Welcome to the Tatnus Podcast. It's your boy Tatnus, and today's show is going to be totally different, dude, because the Tatnus Podcast Uncensored is undergoing a British invasion. My two dear friends, brothers to me, and two of the newest members to join Tatnus TV on Roku and now Apple TV, Fire Stick, Android TV, all that fun shit, in the not so distant future, are now on my show as guests. My boys from the USUC Network, US UK, from USUC Chronicles, the two hosts that I had the privilege of actually being interviewed by on their show, and it was probably easily one of the best shows I've ever done. Uh, it was just so much fun, dude. It was such a blast, such an honor to be you know, uh, interviewed by such talented people that really do their research. It kind of blew me away, so um, it was actually a great time. So my boys, Tom Stevens and Jamie Westwood, are my guests today. And it's going to get real British up in here, but don't you worry. I have a feeling, my dear, you're going to enjoy this quite a lot. Now, I'm going to fucking start this shit off, just kind of pull the curtain back, because they, you know, uh, they always fucking say that people see your successes, but you don't exactly, you know, advertise your failures. So this is a clusterfuck. I totally fucked up the time on this (laughs) and had to rush to get on there. (laughs) Um, That was all me. That's all my fault. That's not my personal assistance issue. That's not anybody else's shit. That was all me. Fucking time zone differences. UK and here is fucking bananas. So, my bad. (laughs) Honestly, it's all good. It is is all good because obviously this was meant to be done last week and I was like, I'm really sorry, but I can't do tonight. It's all good, dude. (laughs) So, you have to apologize for because obviously I moved it from last week. So... But yeah, man, thank you so much for having us on, man. I really appreciate oh, yeah. it. It's oh, a pleasure to be part of the Tatnus family. Man, it has been a long time coming. I've been waiting for this shit for time, so I'm so stoked that it's finally happening. And I was taking the piss out of you a little bit because it's what I do. I'm a smart ass. And I was, when you had to reschedule, I remembered when I was supposed to be on your shit. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> I, I was thinking, okay, what was the time again? I got to do this. I'm like, it's cool. I probably got about three more reschedules before I have to worry about when we're right. <laughs> <laughs> You absolute dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we can't argue he's absolutely right. <laughs> to be fair, he is. To be fair, so, you know, and I'm not afraid to call you a dickhead now, you know, because I'm, we've had a few shows together now, Keith. Now we're friends. I can say, well, fuck, I want no joking. But, uh, that's please. right. I mean, I'm, now, I'm, now I know he can't flick me through the internet. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man i'm so sorry about all that you know what happened oh, on the show except it was just it was, it was so frustrating I, I don't know why i don't know what happened to us really i think because we had quite a few guests we're like oh i'll go to this day i'll go to this day it's like right fuck then jamie had a fuck up with his shifts and we're like oh I'm gonna, i don't it was and literally jamie could account for this as well there was a moment when i had to ring him and go he rang me and was like my shifts are fucked so i'm gonna have to move some shit move some enemies around and I was like, I've already moved Keith twice. Don't tell me I've got to move him again. Please, please. <laughs> Send me the dates through. Send me the dates. And I was like, oh, fuck. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to message him. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to message him. He's going to kill me. I probably no, should have but... messaged myself, but I'm a pussy, so I'd let Tom do it. <laughs> it. It is so funny because I was just like, it's all good. Cool. It's all good. I, I'm flexible like that, dude. I, I fucking make time. You have to. Uh, well, yeah, this is very true. I mean, but I mean, four times, bro, it takes the piss. Do you know what I mean? The I first... thought it was funny. I just laughed. I was like, that's cool. I was like, fuck it, because I had shit going on. I mean, I remember it was around my birthday, too, when I got one of those messages. And I was like, fuck, I got a show the day after my birthday, and I almost want to reschedule that because I'm going to be hung over as shit. And <laughs> 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 so. You know, I just like, love how laid back of it. Considering you're like the busiest man on the fucking planet, juggling every goddamn project you can, you just like, eh, all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to though. Like, you know, it's like someone asked me on a show, like, 
when the fuck do you find the time to spend four hours a day in the gym with everything you got going on? I'm like, you have to make time. You just, you do. You, you don't have, like, at this point, you have to fucking now. Ah, oh, fuck me. Um, so, yeah, in case you guys don't know, um, I'm going to go fucking bankrupt here because um, I travel and shit for my, my career. And um, so I made a rule to kind of get myself in the habit of making sure my fucking phone is silenced. And I told everybody, if you hear my fucking phone go off on my show and you see me in the street, come and tell me what show it was. And I owe you a beer. Uh, so let's go grab one. If I'm in an airport or something, fucking waiting <laughs> for my, fl- <laughs> I owe you a fucking beer, bro. So my phone just fucking went off again. And I, at some point I'm going to Ireland. I'm fucking going to file for bankruptcy right now because those motherfuckers, I am Irish. I know they can, they can drink, bro. So I'm going to be fucking. <laughs> you won't even make it back. No, no. no. <laughs> It's like, uh, Keith left for Ireland years ago. Has anyone seen him? Like, what, what is going on? And like, just in the middle of Dublin somewhere, like, guys, like, another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck it, let's go. It's been, it's been 40 years, fuck it, let's just keep going. <laughs> I, right, I'm going to have to take up residency there for like a year just to make sure I didn't miss anybody and then fuck, <laughs> pay my dues. And... <laughs> Jeez. Me and Tom will come over like, do you remember when your phone went off during our episode? Fuck, another one! <laughs> you know, every fucking time, I think I got it under control, but in this scenario, I was rushing to get on point. Uh, and, well, that's on me, so... Fuck it. Like, you're a better man than I, because I'd just edit it out and pretend it never happened. <laughs> that, you know what? I'd rather just pay the money for the fucking beer, dude. <laughs> <I don't wanna... laughs> <laughs> it's free beer, what are you doing? That's fucking, you know... The, oh, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying if it was me personally, fuck that. There, there's certain things that I just don't bother making time for. <laughs> and editing is usually one of them unless I have to because I've had people on the show that are like, oh, I got this coming up and I got that coming up. And then they'll hit me up after and be like, I just read my NDA. Um, can you, can you <laughs> cut that before I lose the opportunity? I'm like, oof because it's like disney and shit they don't play i'm like yeah yeah okay yeah yeah, like marvel stuff like that it's like okay yeah i'm gonna cut that you ever said anything about that because uh that's not supposed to be talked about yet so (laughs) and i will tell you the episode came out about three weeks ago so fuck about take that down and just uh (laughs) (laughs) i mean going back to the uh the conversation we're having about um always making time for things um i've now completely forgotten my point I had a that point in my head where I was just like, I want to make a point about this. And then the conversation massively went off somewhere else. And now I was like, this, I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it wrong. I'm going to say it. What was it? <laughs> I love it's the just, fact you brought us back to it to tell us that you'd forgotten what you wanted to yeah, say about it. Nothing, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty That's much. That's but I, I, I do believe that you always should make time. Because there was those moments where you're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it next week. Oh, I'll do it. And then eventually you get to that point where you go, I was going to do that like months ago. That's fucking gone now. And all of a sudden you're off doing something else or you move somewhere else or whatever. So I totally agree with you. That's what I wanted to say. See? Right. Bit, of, bit of spiel, bit of like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And it eventually comes back. So it's all good. Right. I mean, I'm sure by, uh, you can tell by the luggage under my fucking eyes, I'm not a big sleep guy. Um, <laughs> I make time for everything else. So your beard is on point, Keith. Oh. On point. Really? I mean, come on, man. Look at yours. And uh, mine's like the midget version. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the say you challenge know him. This is me just not making time for getting, you know, shaving and cleaning that shit up. So uh, it's laziness that just kind of went kind of okay, I guess. <laughs> I should keep it going, man. It's looking strong. I ah, appreciate it, bro. You'll, uh, be here, you'll be here in like a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so funny, dude. It grows like so fast where it's like, you know, I get yeah. stubborn. And... Keep going. Come on. Come join. Come join the family. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> with open arms <laughs> right. see I wanted a big beard and it just looked fucking dumb on me it just didn't <laughs> look right at all I was like let's just trim this shit down look smart it's, it's fine I was going to say I thought you were growing yours out why, why have you decided to not 
it just looked because it gets like here and then it just go ah oh, downwards no i'm going fucking sideways man it just go that way and I'm, i just i look ridiculous it just goes you know, rogue. <laughs> you know wax is a thing you know oil is a thing right oh i've done all that probably fucking there with the the brush and the hair dryer let's get this no <laughs> you use a hair dryer i did don't know clearly but... oh i did i couldn't think i use a hair dryer of mine ever I was, I was doing everything I could to try and like tame it to go. To, like, t- why I keep air like miming brushing my beard? I don't know. But, Did I you just, use a hair kept, straightener? No, I never use a straightener. You can't get straightness for beards though. Right. I just want to say like comb, comb straighteners now. Where you comb yeah, in yeah, yeah. yeah, apparently they're shit. That's like really wank Facebook advertising being like, by the way, you should check out this product. It's fucking amazing that you've never heard of. So get, <laughs> get five of them now. And you know, you'll have the straightest beard in all the land. And then it literally like fucking, <laughs> and it either gets tangled or just takes it all off. And you're like, oh shit. Cool. It just takes up residency in your beard. You can't get the fucker yeah. back out because it's just <laughs> stuck. Might as well sell on fucking wish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I don't. You know, um, I don't normally. I, I've grown it out a couple times, and uh, I when I do though, I go you know straight balls to the wall with the oil and the fucking whole thing. Because if you're gonna do it, you might as well fucking take care of it. You know exactly. Um, but yeah, this this is my proof that I'm Irish. Like it comes in fucking <laughs> ginger as fuck. <laughs> you gotta keep the race alive, Keith. <laughs> race alive. <laughs> With our Celtic heritage, you know, me being Scottish and you having Irish in you, you know, we've got to keep this fucking going, dude. That's so. right. But I totally understand, you know, what Jamie's saying too, because it does go through that like awkward growth, like where it hits a certain length where it looks a little weird until it grows a little more. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when you shave your head or something and your hair grows back, it will start to look weird at some point. And yeah. It looks normal. Um, it hits a weird length where it just looks stupid for a minute and then it'll grow a little more. Yeah. You're good. That's when mine would get to the length where it looks stupid and then wouldn't grow anymore. <laughs> you, you, trim, you, you trim it, don't you? Don't you trim it to like get it to grow again? Yeah, it, nothing worked. I gave up. It was too much fucking effort. <laughs> Shit, just bad genes, bro. Just bad genes. Pretty much. Bless you, fella. Um, <laughs> but... Talking about uh, moving on to from Facebook yesterday, obviously I had that encounter um, with those Welsh dickheads. That basically, do you know? I, I really fucking hate it. No, I, seriously though, I absolutely hate it when people. So I didn't know them at all. I was walking one way. I was on the phone to you, Jamie. I, I was made me laugh so much. Yeah, I was walking one way, and they were walking the other. And you know when people just intently staring at you, they're just like proper like the staring, and then they go. They have a little whisper to, to, to their mates, and then they all have a good laugh about it. And I was literally like, what's so funny? And they're just like, <laughs> so I was like, no, seriously, fill me in. Like, I, I want to know what's funny, so I can either validate your point or pretend that you're wrong. Like, I'm really intrigued to know what's so absolutely hilarious about either the way I'm dressed or look or walk or whatever. And they literally just walk, skip, walk straight past, like, no, sit down, no, guys, like, come back, it's okay. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely amazing. nothing. I didn't realise this bothered you as much as it did when we were on the phone, because then I go on Facebook and you put that status up, I was like, wow, that pissed him off a lot more than I thought it did. <laughs> yeah, more, just, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't understand why people need feel the need to do that sort of thing. I thought we were past all that shit now, but... You know, but Keith's comment made me fucking... I was crying, laughing. It was so funny. I want to beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> <That was it. laughs> and you know what's really funny about that is that's exactly how the fuck it would go down. I would straight up bludgeon a motherfucker <laughs> with another motherfucker. And when that motherfucker <laughs> broke, I'd pick up another motherfucker and continue the job. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I, I'm known to get creative. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but it oddly really as funny as I found it really meant a lot to me as well because I was like oh yes Keith I just wanted, I just wanted to come over just so I can see that happen <laughs> yeah, you know it's funny because like 
I, I was trying to get a laugh out of you to make you feel better. But at the same time, like I was legitimately pissed off because I was telling my producer, I'm like, that fucking rubs me the wrong way. Cause I'm like, this dude is like the sweetest of human beings. And for somebody to just feel the need to like take the piss when they don't know shit about him, really fucking, that's a bitch move. At least say it to the guy's fucking face, man. So that really pissed me off. Um, so I was, yeah, I was kind of ready to go at that point. And <laughs> say, so, I mean, it doesn't take much some days, but, um, you know, that, that was one of those things where I was like, I will fucking throat punch a motherfucker. <laughs> like, you know, oh. I don't think anyone was brave enough to say anything to Keishin or anything. walking down the street with the oh, face to face. Well, yeah. Bruno, Bruno made that point last, last, uh, the last episode, didn't he? That's I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait. Fucking said now. Um, like I dare you, I fucking dare you say something to Keith or something. Oh like, yeah. yeah, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Because yeah. you are an absolute tank, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was one of the first things we said when you came on our show last time. As soon as the video loaded up, we're like, fuck me, it's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> absolute unit. That was that was that was a phrasing, yes. Absolute unit. That made me laugh so hard because we weren't on the air yet. And I come on and immediately all I hear is, well, now we both feel fucking emasculated. Yeah. <laughs> I I mean, was like, like, this little bitch shit's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, your beard is better. So the, it's a fair trade, right? Yeah. So literally from the neck up, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, I listened to that episode with Bruno and I gotta admit, like I was walking down the road listening to it and I've never laughed so hard over Dominate the A in my life. I just like I looked one of those looked it. like one of those dickheads laughing to themselves in the street because I was just roaring over Dominate the A. <laughs> that, that needs to be a shirt. That show took a weird turn, but it always does. I mean, you know that's just that's Bruno. <laughs> yeah. And I mean you love it. You come on my shit, it's gonna get weird real fast. So we embrace it. Fuck it. Um, my producer was just like, "What the fuck was I just a part of?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> Tom Bruno. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> you can't ex- you can't explain that. It's just who he is. He's a which, wonderful human. It, it was because of that part of the conversation that I put that clip in from their show when he mentioned me um, because I thought that was funny and it tied in because. He was saying, you know, make fun of his fucking accent and whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'll say it. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So I guess there is that Canadian accent I'm not aware of that uh, exists. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> only, oh, let, let, let me just, have a, let me just, yeah, that, yeah, I can say it. Yeah, I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't oh. notice these things when it's on yourself, though. Like people right. say to me, "You've got such a Birmingham accent." I'm like, "Do I? I don't hear it." Right. And then there's Tom giving me that fucking nod. <laughs> you know, it's really, it's really funny too because, like, some people think it's really bizarre. It's like, oh shit, in the UK they have different types of accents. It's not just one size fits all. But it's the same here. If you go to um, like fucking Manitoba and shit like that. They have that like stereotypical fucking Canadian accent that we mock. Up till all about, eh? Yeah, that kind of <laughs> weird shit. And it, it, we mock that because it's so funny. Um, and then we get painted with that fucking brush. I'm like, bro, I'm from Toronto. Like, I'll fucking stab a motherfucker. Like, you know, like, um, you know, I, I, I don't have that syrup guzzling fucking accent like those Manitoba motherfuckers do. Um, and who the fuck wants to live in a province that bloody cold? Fuck that noise. Um, <laughs> I hate the cold. So, you know, it, it's one of life's sick jokes, right? I hate winter weather. So, of course, I was born in January because fuck me, I guess. Um, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so. I, just, I just find Canada fascinating for the fact that, you know, one half is like just English speaking. And then all of a sudden it's French. And if you speak English, you're a dick. Yeah, it's like, fuck those people. It's weird. <laughs> and stand Quebec, to be honest. <laughs> is it just Quebec? Obviously, I know, I know of Quebec being like that, but is it just Quebec that's like that? Yeah, they're they're the one part that like they wanted to separate from Ontario, uh, where I'm from, like the whole Toronto <laughs> province. Like you know, uh, Ontario is the province Toronto's in, right? And uh, you know, so fucking. 
you know, in Ontario, you got Toronto and Ottawa and all the main city. Mm. And um, yeah, they've wanted to separate for the longest time. And uh, it was really funny because back in the day, uh, before all this shit, I was working at um, the Royal Conservatory of Music, and uh, which a lot of people have graduated from, like Paul Schaefer from David Letterman um, oh, and nice. all these other fucking big names, uh, music awesome. and shit. So I worked there, and one day uh, I felt something weird. It was like a little bit of vibration under my feet. And I looked at the racks where we had all the skids of, uh, cause they publish books that teach you how to play instruments. Right. Yeah. Um, so I look at the racks and they're kind of swaying a little bit and someone came out of the warehouse and was like, did you feel that there's a fucking earthquake? And I was like, Oh shit, for real. So we looked it up and yeah, it was kind of the aftershock of us, uh, like a little earthquake. And then they said they traced it back where the origin was Quebec and I said, motherfuckers are literally trying everything to separate. They're probably all on the border with jackhammers at the same time trying to physically separate. And that's what caused this. <laughs> like They're trying to break the land off away from Ontario. Like, we're doing this one way or another. If the government doesn't want to agree, then we'll just separate the fucking land itself, you know? Um, but yeah, the, I drove through there when I moved here from Ontario. It was like a... Um, fucking i think it was like drove 12 hours to get to new brunswick and still had another four hours to drive to get here so as soon as i hit quebec it's like i'm not staying here fuck this place just do the 12 hours and get the fuck out of here i mean uh, it's, it's probably our fault for the fact that the french made it to canada because obviously we beat them in the, in the war and then let them live so really sorry about that <laughs> There's nothing funnier than watching English people fly out to Canada and still run into French people. Like, they're here too. <laughs> How far do we have to fly? <laughs> right. So, of course, you know, my life constantly has this weird sense of humor where it likes to fuck with me and mock my existence. So, um, the guitarist from Kid Rock's band, fucking um, Kenny Olsen and uh, Scott Page from Pink Floyd and all them, had invited me to come hang with them in uh, Quebec because they're doing a show there. And I'm like, of course it's Quebec. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Um, so I was like, fuck my life, dude. Um, it's always got to be Quebec. I, I, I don't have any love there, I'm sure. So <laughs> I was going to say, you just lost all of your listeners from Quebec. All two of them? Oh, my what? God. <laughs> Day ruined. Right. Fucking bearer of bad news over here. <laughs> telling me I just lost two fans, bro. Oh, uh, Jamie. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> they were both in the same household, too, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. I, I love what you were saying then as well. Were you moving, like driving 12 hours? What, the whole journey is 12 hours or longer than that? No, as long as that, that was the first day. Um, overall, it was like a 16 hour drive. So, yeah, like Bruno's mentioned this before, like on what's the difference and the difference between Americans and the UK with distance driving. Fuck that noise. I would not drive. I, I can't drive anyway, but like the idea of driving for 18 hours to do anything just sounds like torture. You would complete England and Scotland in that. Yeah. And probably Wales. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure a lot of, I'm sure a lot of people here feel the same way too, but I was at a point where getting Ontario in my rear view for 16 hours was a blessing. I didn't give a fuck how long it took. I was done with that place. I spent my whole life there and, you know, uh, I can't complain. My career started there at a gym owned by a fucking former pro wrestler that worked for WWE and shit like that. So I'm extremely grateful for, for him and all of that, you know, in Ontario for all that shit. But, you know, it, it just was time. Um, it's like you, everywhere you go, it's like that constant reminder of, you know, a lot of shit like your son fucking being born with this terminal condition, shit like that. Uh, you know, everything, it's just, it was like, you know what, let's start over. Fuck it. Um, and it was an opportunity to make more out here and send it back to his mother to help 
her with not like because you know canada like it, most of the medical shit is covered it was more for her sake like mm. she was gonna be spending a lot of time in the hospitals and shit i'm on the road doing my thing in my career so i'd send her shit like um uh you know i sent her a game boy fucking like 2ds whatever that she wanted um and like all these games and shit so when she's doing those long hospital stays she has something to fucking do um sent her a fucking uh wii u for when she's at home uh because she's a big video game player um and uh you know stuff like that right and just kind of keep her sanity in intact and um you know when when your child requires kind of around the clock care um you got to have some kind of sanity saver you know to take that minute for yourself right um and she couldn't afford to do none of that so i was taking care of shit like that and if she needed money or whatever i'd send it and so you know it was a blessing to be able to come out here and do that so um I, it's, I think just being born and raised in Ontario and spending time, like I am somebody who has lived like fucking all over the place, dude. I, I could come up with 18 cities off the top of my head. I've lived in, uh, in Ontario. Um, and I'm now getting that fucking, uh, getting that warning. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just popped on my mind. Um, yeah, shit. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, it just got to a point where it's like, when you've lived in damn near every city in the fucking province, what next, right? <laughs> Time to leave the province. And fucking, I've been wanting to come out here for years. Her and I talked about it actually for a while. And then, um, so eventually I just said, fuck it, I'm doing it. And it was a fun ride. And, you know, uh, my producer actually came with me. So uh, I probably drove that poor girl fucking nuts because she would drive and it got to a point one time okay this is fucking me i'm I'm just you know i'm an idiot like this i i have fun at all times um so she's dr- doing the drive from uh new brunswick to here which is like a four hour drive and it got to a point where like i'm literally sitting there i'm not driving so i'm free to do whatever right i got my feet up on the fucking dash this is like it was october but for some reason it was like summer weather still here like in ontario it was getting cold but here um it was nice so i got the window down i got my feet up on the fucking dash and i'm drinking beer like a motherfucker because i ain't driving so (laughs) nor do i intend to at that point um so you know i'm just it got to a point it's like every five minutes like shit i gotta piss bro she's like again you just fucking like we just stopped like five minutes ago i'm like i know but i gotta piss again she's like maybe if you weren't drinking so much beer you wouldn't have to piss all the time i'm like I'm not even going to talk to you now if you're just going to fucking say shit that doesn't make any fucking sense like this. Like, you're just talking crazy now and being unreasonable. <laughs> shakes her what head. else do you expect me to do while you drive? Right. She just shakes her head, trying not to laugh at me and just like, this fucking guy. You know, it's, it's what I do. Um, <laughs> so. like, it's just like, it's just crazy though. Cause like, Bruno says, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to this town to go to a shop. It's about two hours away. I'm like, driving two hours to go to a shop. He's like, yeah, that's normal for us. I'm like, is it? Yeah, I don't know about all that. I mean, you know, <laughs> if I'm going to drive that fucking far, I fucking live there now. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking... <laughs> what made you move so much? Why did you move so much in Ontario? Was it just because of like work and stuff where you're just finding your feet or what? Sometimes it it was just, you know, opportunities. Other times it was just like I would be somewhere for a while and then I'm like, okay, this ain't it. Like I'm I don't know if I'm trying to find home or what the fuck, right? But you know, everybody that knows my fucking situation, I guess, knows like I don't fucking really have roots with people. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I have that whole side of, you know, that I don't know and shit. So um I I just nothing felt like home. So eventually I just fucking be like all right time to go and so i've lived everywhere niagara falls fucking uh towns mm-hmm. people never heard of you know um and uh all over the place so it, it's weird but i think this is it for me i, I kind of dig it here so um i couldn't see myself leaving and i've been here like four years so that's a good sign. That's a great <laughs> sign. Just, you know, finding somewhere to call home is absolutely amazing. I mean, my dad was in the uh, the army, the Royal Air Force, as they call it. It's like not quite army, but it's it's really weird. I don't, and it's, it's more flying. Anyway, um, so I've I lived in Germany for seven years. Like I, I was obviously born in Scotland, as you can tell by the accent. 
Um, uh, no, <laughs> um, but I live in England way too long. I've lived everywhere. I'm in Wales now because obviously, like yourself, I'm just trying to find that place that I would call home. And then obviously, I was very lucky to meet somebody recently. Um, and now she lives back in England, in Bristol. Uh, and we're trying to find our feet together, which is absolutely amazing. Like, I, I couldn't ask for more. It's only taken 33 fucking years. Well, I know you wouldn't, I know the first, like, what, 12, 13, you obviously, you're, you're a kid, so you just do whatever you're told. But now, like, I've been trying to find my feet for a very long time. And I'm, I'm starting to finally feel like I think I found it. That's awesome, man. Um, yeah, congrats on that, too. You seem really happy, and I was really stoked to see that. Uh, Sick of that, bro. Happy. Thank you. It's disgusting how loved up they are. <laughs> Dude, and they call it the honeymoon period, yet yeah, this will be the same in 5, 10, 15, 20 years' time, you know? So that's awesome. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much. Oh, dude, it's fucking great. I'm so stoked. I'm like, it couldn't, you know, happen for a better person, man. I was like, that's fucking super cool because, you know, good people should be happy. And uh, it was really cool to see because I was like, holy shit. Like, you know, that yeah. kind of, it looked like that was kept under wraps until it was official because all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. I appreciate it, bro. It's, it's one of those things, obviously, I think, you all, I think there's always that one person. There's always someone out there for somebody. I don't think that everybody finds it. I know, I know your, your show's normally really, like, gritty and just going, like, fuck it, but we're getting quite emotional here. So anyone listening to this, I'm so sorry. This is literally just what we're like. We get, we get fucking real here, guys. So, yeah, just, just deal with it. All right, fuck. Um, but, yeah, obviously, there's always that one person out there for somebody, and I think I finally found mine. Well, this is the balance, right, to the Bruno show because um, that went off yes. the fucking rails. Um, so now we got to kind of make people, or try to convince people that we're not complete whack jobs. Um, you know? <laughs> we're not all completely insane on you, Suck. There is some. Right, you know. Uh, this is called damage control. And, uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we're fixing the brand. Right, you know. Um, maybe people will forget that, that, uh, mm-hmm. that shit with Bruno because... Uh, they're going to start to get some weird thoughts, man. Uh, he, he touched on some pretty fucked up shit that people are going to be like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> we love him for it, though. It's just, it wouldn't be him, otherwise wouldn't. That's just how it is. We're just, we love that. Well, we love you both. So, you know, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Oh, dude, it's definitely mutual. And he's great. I, I love that dude, too. He's fucking hilarious. Um, we always got along. So, uh, you know, I knew with him, too, it was another bound to happen scenario where we kind of touch base on that. A little bit and we're like yeah we got to do this like you got to come on my shit and it was eventually like yeah we will and then a lot of time goes by and i had all these other fucking guests and shit anyway so it was like um i, I still got shit booked that i don't remember because it's so far down the road <laughs> that it's fucking uh it's mostly me being on other people's shit um someone just rescheduled yesterday because they're getting their a uh, vaccine apparently and uh, they say that knocks you on your ass for like an entire day so they're like i don't think i'm gonna be up to do a live show can we book you as a guest you know a bit down the road i'm like fuck yeah no worries you know jamie can test to that. <laughs> you know what's that jamie well you can test that, can't you Okay, you oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Test, yeah. oh yeah the vaccine definitely does knock you on your ass yeah yeah, yeah that's what i hear so uh i was kind of like yeah no worries um <clears throat> we'll do that whenever like just hit me up whenever so may 20th i think they rescheduled it too so i was like all right i could do that just remind me closer to the time because i smoke a lot of weed and i got a lot of shit going on <laughs> yeah i apologize i probably should have messaged you a lot earlier Oh, no, it, that was all my fault because I was thinking ate my time for some reason. And I'm like, oh, you guys aren't behind me or ahead of me in time. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> That'd be like 2 a.m. for us. I've got to be up at 5 for work. So no, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's so fucking weird because, like, I mean, if, if you see who I have as my guests and shit, like, I've got a lot of time zones to fucking contend with. Like, there's, you know, a lot of L.A. and, and Hollywood fucking time zones. Then there's New York and then there's, like, fucking colorado um montana even um you know i was like fuck man there's so many differences and i'm like trying to memorize them all and that's not gonna happen <laughs> it's just it's, it's ridiculous because then you have like three or four different times in your own fucking country right and i can't even memorize right. my own fucking phone number so i'm <laughs> 
know, like, Jesus. I felt, we, we had a nightmare of a guest um, about a month or so ago. Like, not only was it the time zone we had to work out, is America had gone through daylight savings and we hadn't. So, it, like, I'd, I'd got the right city when doing my research for the time zone, but I didn't account for daylight savings. I was like, oh, fuck this noise. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that that's that just throws a wrench in the plan. You think you got your shit together, and then daylight savings times like oh do you <laughs> well, that's what I mean. why is it still a thing why does it say that daylight savings still exists i have no idea it's um, so weird is it oh we want to be a bit lighter later at night okay <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna send you guys the other link because this is already at less than a minute so fuck yeah it. no worries okay. we'll do the god i hate fucking zoom i'm keeping that too they can fucking hear that Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking cuts <laughs> right Dirty bastards well i'm logged into our zoom and as we use it every week we we lo- i love zoom <laughs> there you go well, somebody has to <laughs> it ain't gonna be me <laughs> remember ladies one must not get one's knickers in a twist. That's, yeah. so, that's such a weird thing, man. <laughs> I know. So we're back to our bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Our real life emotional bullshit. Let's keep going. <laughs> right. Speaking of weird shit, I, fucking, it, my, my uh, personal assistant sent me a, a screenshot last night of like a bunch of, like she went down a rabbit hole, I guess, of all these fucking sites and shit where I come up and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, there's like Russian websites about me and shit. And I'm like, really? <gasps> yeah, dude, like, which, you know, it, it's, I, I don't do that. I don't go down the rabbit hole looking. I don't look myself up. Um, but then, yeah, she's like, there's a fucking celebrity height website that people want <laughs> to know your height so bad that they created like this fucking whole thing. It's got your bio and everything. And I'm like, <laughs> why is this a thing? What? Why is that so important? That is the pinnacle of success when the internet desperately wants to know your height. Right? That's how you know you made it. Fuck your career. <laughs> fuck everything you've done. How tall is that motherfucker? Is he really 65? Is this whole website dedicated to celebrities' heights? Mm-hmm. It's literally what called sort Celebrity of Heights. weird ass fetish is this website creator got? Right? It's called Celebrity Heights. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> did they have your height uh, right? They did, yes. Well, I actually, I think they did because uh, I'm six foot five, but they did it in like meters, which I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I oh. assume. But then there's like the Russian one, and it's just all this like Russian writing. And I'm like, I don't, I see my name. And I don't know what none of this shit says. I, I hope it's nice. <laughs> we, must, we, must, we must new Canada. We must take out Keith McCleary. We must take... A, we will send over the Russian spies to put poison on door handles for him to take. Uh, put it, Novichok in his tea, yes. Yeah, you know, like there, there's probably like a, a bounty for like, we'll pay you this much vodka if you take him out. Um, <laughs> It's got your location set in the Quebec. You're like, motherfucker. <laughs> right. Or maybe they're like, maybe it's a plan to try to get me to like join their Tetris tournament or something. I don't know. Uh, Tetris tournament. <laughs> but, you know, any more Russian stereotypes? Like, I just read it all in yelling. Like, I just assumed that they were yelling. <laughs> even, if, even if it was positive, I, it, it just sounded aggressive to me. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, I can't imagine a Russian shouting. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? You know, have Russians ever shouted? Russians must shout. They're always pissed. Like <laughs> so they're always angry, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you I, never, I, they, they hide all their news. You can never fucking tell. They don't tell you anything. How do you know it's real? I, I couldn't imagine a Russian library because I don't think they could ever talk quietly. Like they, <laughs> have, <laughs> they say good morning to you, and it's a screaming match, and it's like really, like I never get to German. Them, them too. I mean, maybe they, maybe they're trying to outdo each other with who could be more pissed. I don't know. Um, it, which is funny. I even wrote a book back in the day, 
about like the paranormal and shit and i touched on germany uh, i'm like they're always so pissed off of course poltergeist is a german word because every ghost of, that's german would be pissed and throwing shit you know like <laughs> you get a ghost of schwarzenegger just chucking fucking dressers and shit around like they have no chill whatsoever uh you know calm the fuck down and an hour for a quick workout one of the ghosts of schwarzenegger it's just, you see these little waitress movie like what the fuck is going on right you know it's like you just see like this fucking floating protein shaker every now and then you know know, after a good lift session of your dresser and your fucking armoire and shit like why are they so mad all the time it's not that deep calm down you know it's not that serious jesus well i just don't get it but um, there was a video going around of schwarzenegger going to a gym but he dressed up as someone else like you work there. Yeah. And just going up, he's like, you almost live faster. He's like, just had a massive go at everyone. <laughs> it's amazing. I love him, dude. He's the coolest. I love that dude. He's great. He's such a great guy. He is, dude. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really fucking weird, dude, to come like have that sent to me. Like, there's a fucking celebrity height website, and motherfuckers want to know yeah, how tall you are. Is there what you have for dinner fucking on a Wednesday night as well? Is that in there? Oh, my God. I don't, I don't want to know. I mean, especially if they're right. How fucked up is that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, maybe it's her doing it. Maybe she's the one that's doing the websites. Yeah, maybe it is your PA. It's, it's all her. Yeah. You know, I would say that's probably true, but I keep her too fucking busy with, like, menial bullshit that, like, she don't have time for that crap. <laughs> are, are you so busy? Yeah, of course I'm busy. What does Keith eat on a Thursday? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just w- working. Yeah, doing work. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I, you, it, it makes sense because she gets some nice stuff sometimes. Like, I know I don't pay you that fucking much. I pay you well, but <laughs> where's this extra money coming from? Yeah, yeah, yeah just subscribers to a celebrity height website. Right, you know. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I assume because she's a model, she's got that income as well. But no, maybe this is something. Maybe... You know, what so when she turns around and says, "Like Keith, I've got an idea for a Tatnus TV. I want to do a program about like, the heights of celebrities." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We, just, we just go around with a measuring tape and measure them and run off again. <laughs> Dude, I am so checking her when I see her again. It's to make sure she's not wearing a wire or something because you know, like it's just going straight to these websites. Like <laughs> they're sitting up <laughs> in, down the street <laughs> listening to this shit. Just test the next time you're watching TV or something and someone comes up, you like, how, how tall do you reckon he is? Just see what she says. Yeah. What she next comes over, put your arms up, please. Why? Just put your arms up now. What the? Okay. Start patting it down. If she starts asking me my inseam, I'm going to fucking know. <laughs> I just need to measure. It's just, don't worry about it. It's cool. <laughs> oh, did you ever did you ever fight any Russians in your MMA career? Uh not that I know of. Um I'm not trying to work out why the Russian one got a website on you. You know, it, it's I, I know I, I got love in Russia and shit, but uh I don't know, it's kind of making me paranoid now. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean we we love Russia. Russia's great, yeah. Uh Guys, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't, cool. want to, you don't want to piss them listeners off. It, it's cool to yell all the time. Totally. Yeah, yeah. totally. Vodka's a great drink. Absolutely spot on. You know, clear whatever it is. Okay, that that is true. I'm not even being sarcastic. That that's legit. Um, good on them for vodka. <laughs> I can't do. I can't drink that stuff anymore. When I was younger, that's all I drank and neat, and I was so sick all of the time. I just had a no more. I just they they have triple chocolate vodka here, dude. What? And it was fucking good. Triple <laughs> chocolate vodka. Oh yeah. I mean that intrigues me. I'm quite tempted myself by a sounds like that. We got this whole section, dude, where it was like triple chocolate vodka, um, this peanut butter whiskey. <gasps> you know me, I mixed the two. I had to. Of course you do. Of course you do. And then they had this like creamy liquor. It was a uh, pralines and cream flavor. And oh, I was told, Keith, stop it. I was told if you mix that with the the triple chocolate vodka, that's fucking amazing too. Um, there's a whole section of all this new shit that we just got in the liquor store here, and I'm like, 
alcohol and I don't drink much anymore. Um, on occasion, I guess so, right, dude? You know, but oh. I had to try that. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. Whiskey that sounds amazing. I certainly could have used the bottle last night when I found out that motherfuckers want to know my height so bad they created a weapon. <laughs> um, you know that that drives you to drink. <laughs> so, oh, dude, I tried a uh, solid caramel rum here. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, like my god, you just it's like just drinking salt of caramel. Yeah, we oh. have it here too. We have it, we have that too. It's so good. Oh, it's magnificent. Jamie, you would go nuts for it. I'd have to try that one. I'm not the biggest I, drinker, but I know you're not, that does sound but quite nice to Dude, it was just like, oh it's rum. Oh, it's neat. Oh, cool. Sip. Oh my fuck. Okay. Neck, 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 more <laughs> neck. <laughs> yeah i i feel you it's rough i can't drink much either anymore and especially not beer because i don't want to be a fat bitch um so <laughs> yeah. I, mean, trust my... <laughs> I went to the hotel and their gym was fucking terrible um it was better than nothing but not by much uh <laughs> <laughs> was it one weight? <laughs> like they went up, the, the dumbbells only went up to 50 pounds, which I was like, what in the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Like, Jesus. Um, they had no weight bench. Uh, fuck. It was just you know, it was not cool. Dude, I mean, at least you can go to the gym. They're, they're still closed because obviously I live in Wales. They're still shut. Really? Over here, dude, everything is chill. And then where I came from, it's just fucking disgusting. Like they're almost in curfew territory because they're not listening. And really? yeah, dude in Ontario, it's like, new, especially Toronto, new cases all the time. They got like four, almost 5,000 new cases already. Uh, they're not listening. They're doing like anti mask protests and shit. It's like, you're complaining about being on lockdown for like over a year, but you dumb fucks are the reason why. Um, so let's do more of what's causing it, right? Because that makes fucking sense. I'm yeah. so glad I left that shithole. Um, wow, it's dumb. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I shout mean, out to my fucking Toronto fans that. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking Just dumb. losing your entire fan base for the country <laughs> you're from today. <laughs> right, then maybe I can get some goddamn rest. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> Oh, that's mental. Oh man. So yeah, that's, it's night and day dude. Cause here everything's open and we're, we're actually going back to full capacity. Um, so yeah. So like, you know, the gym here, it goes up to a hundred and fucking 50 or 175 pounds, which is dope. Um, so that's a lot better. And, yeah. Well, I mean, I couldn't even do that with, I couldn't even lift that. I mean, I, I know we do ours in kilograms, I think. All right, so our metric system is really fucking weird. So when you say pounds, I'm like, yeah, them. Sounds great. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, so so for kilograms, you you multiply by 2.2, and that's what gets you the pounds. Okay. Fuck me. That's, oh, my God. Fuck. Damn, dude. What? <laughs> what? Well, you need a fucking toe going, yeah, this is easy, boys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, you know, it, it was funny in the documentary, my uh, producer always gets pissed because she's like, what the fuck? You lift in 245 pounds with one arm and you look bored and it's really pissing me off. Like, at least pretend it's hard. Uh, <laughs> so for kilograms, I mean, uh, uh, it's probably not, doesn't sound as much <laughs> like, um, let's find it. To us, though, that's going to sound fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Wouldn't be yeah. like, like I, think that's, I, I think that's more than what I weigh, unless that, that is what I weigh. That would be 111.13 kilograms. <gasps> Fuck! So, yeah. <laughs> Christ! So, yeah, 245 um, with one arm. It's on this fucking documentary, and she's just, it's in the extras, I think. Um, and she filmed that, and she was like, what the fuck? Like, that's disgusting, dude. That is disgusting. Amazing, but fuck. Her and I were in the gym one time because I trained her, right? Um, yeah. And she wanted to lose weight and shit back in the day. Um, so I was like, all right, I'll train you. And we were standing there talking, 
and they have the um, shoulder press machine. So that goes up to like 300 pounds or whatever. Uh, and then, of course, the weight of the machine. But the, it was on this weird diagonal and that fucking just rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm standing there talking to her, looking at her right in the face. But I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Slanted. I grabbed it with my arm and I just pulled it straight and continued talking to her. And she looks at me like, did you just fucking move an entire fucking weight machine with one arm <laughs> casually while talking to me? And I was like, yeah, it was really bothering me because it's like on a diagonal. And I'm like, that just fucking looks stupid. Uh, and when you're using it, it's off-putting because you're like kind of on a... <laughs> I was like, that's yeah. this. Um, so when we went back because one of the, the trainers that worked there came up and was like, she was, or one of the employees of the gym, she was like, did you just fucking move that machine with one arm? I'm like, yeah, sorry, dude. But that was like on an angle. She's like, yeah, we know we couldn't get it like straight um, because of fucking ways of bloody. T so I went back a couple days later, they have it bolted to the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's a real, that's absolutely, I was just looking at Jamie's t-shirt. Is that the many emotions of you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, that isn't it, right? There you go. Easy. What, so carry on what you're saying. Like, Keith, yeah. that weighs like, that's like a million pounds right there, Keith. That's just, just yeah, I know. Carry on, you were saying. Do you remember yeah. what we were saying earlier about Keith making us feel horribly demasculated when we first started our episode? <laughs> Strike two! <laughs> I think, should we, should we go or? <laughs> Here, have my balls. <laughs> I, I don't need them anymore. Yeah. They're in my wife's purse for a while. I do have them now. <laughs> Easy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just not sorry. Just because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> my personal assistant always sends me Hulk related shit because of that. And like, she's like, just look at it. Like, eat your neck's the size of a fucking Buick. So, you know, like, just try and. But when I come home from the gym, I try to change my shirt. I can't get the fucker off to save my life. I'm like, I need an adult because <laughs> it gets so stuck and I can't see. <laughs> it clings to like my triceps and shit, and then I can't get it off. And then I'm, it's over my head, and I'm stuck. And I basically, it's like a hockey fight by myself, like a jersey myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dude, there's nothing worse. I panic when you, because obviously if you sweat so much, you can't get it off and you get it. So I start to really panic. I don't like it when you can't get it off and it's like stuck in a weird position. Then you know that you, if you're going to go for it, there's no way of getting it back down. So if you go for it, you're like, fuck. And then you right. suck and can't get out. Yeah. Oh my God. Panic sets in. So I can't breathe. I mean, I'm going to live. I'm going to eat ever again. Like, holy shit. <laughs> right. She it's laughed so hard because um, I had this button up shirt that was like, it was getting really fucking tight. So I buttoned it and I'm like, I don't think this is going to work. And I moved my arms inward and the back just went. <laughs> and ripped, ripped. <laughs> well, I'm on payday. I'm actually joining the local gym. So the next time we do this, I'm going to like Keith one's my own. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> that place that's incredible. I, I'm, I, what I want to know is why Marvel didn't just take you, Keith, and paint you green. <laughs> Blue Ferrigno style. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't find any purple sweats in my size. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is taking such a weird turn. <laughs> right. Always <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> nope. oh, I love it. The funniest Hulk picture that I had sent to me uh, that I still have on my phone somewhere is Hulk looks sad. And it just says, Hulk don't want to smash. Hulk wants serious relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was brilliant. Uh, <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I, I had a friend from high school that I've known like since then, so like over 20 years, kind of yelling at me all the time, stop going to the fucking gym. Your neck is already big enough as it is. <laughs> I say the t-shirt's over. I'm sure, there's like tear. Like you would just get them over your head. <laughs> you know, it cut it, the neck out. It becomes a real thought when it gets stuck, and I'm like, well, I really liked this shirt, but I think <laughs> like I feel like I'm gonna have to cut it off or something. <laughs> just Hulk Hogan that shit. You, you know, like that becomes a real thought when it's stuck over your head and you have like <laughs> no alternative. Um, 
you can stand in your living room like a dipshit and scream, I need an adult all you want, but no one's coming, you know? So, um, you know, it's like, okay, now what? Like, this has to go. And yeah. Um, Do you have much of a wardrobe left? You know, like, I'm going to start just painting my shit on and be done with it. And- <laughs> yeah. Fuck I just should have got nipples, no reason. You know, <laughs> when it gets to the pants, like I apologize in advance. And if it rained, <laughs> my bad. Um, I tried. Uh, I wasn't springing for that good waterproof paint, though, because it's fucking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I try to save a few bucks where I can, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so my, my bad in advance for anyone that, you know, runs into that scenario. God damn! Only on my show, I'm telling you. Yeah, well, this is just—it's beautiful, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Yes, the stories are. This is all the shit that people want to hear, though. So, I—I I will tell you this. Um, I sincerely look forward to the day that I find on Google that people want to know what your fucking heights are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be Get so proud. That's how we know we've made it in the world of podcasting if we if we get on that website. <laughs> there you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. When we launch on Tatnus, they we'll get recognized by these people. And then we'll get end up on that website. There you it's go. All, it's all you it's see? all fallen into plan. This, this was part of my plan all along. Um, yep. <laughs> you get a message at 5 a.m. Keaton's happened. So I'm just gonna. Know, I'm gonna get a, a fucking cell phone that's only for that call, and it's gonna be like the red bat phone from the old fucking like '60s Batman TV show. It's just gonna light up red. I'm gonna be like, oh shit, today is the day. Yeah. Yeah. So the special not, stand under glass dome. Just right. I may, really. I may not even answer the phone. I might be googling like trying to find the site and be like, <laughs> it is there, and then I'll answer to congratulate you. So just let it ring. Yeah. It, it won't have voicemail. It'll keep ringing until I get fed up and answer it. So, yeah, I'll be saying, man, come on, Keith, come on. Oh, my life is at stake here. Fucking answer the phone. They know, right? I don't want to get. Know. I don't want to get sued by like you know the the Batman people. So it won't be like the red color like the show. It'll be for our sake a ginger red phone. Yes, that, you know, <laughs> it'll have its own beard. Right, <laughs> you know, it'll it'll have. <laughs> <laughs> so I move, I move all out the way. Like, I, 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 for fuck's sake, it's like cousin it. <laughs> like Jesus fucking Christ. Hello? Like, oh, tickling me now. <laughs> I'll try to accommodate everybody with this phone. I'll have it custom made. So it's it's shaped like a shillelagh, resting on a crumpet, wrapped in haggis. So then we're all good. We're all fucking covered. Um if that works for everybody. Uh, I, love the fact the Eng- I love the fact the English parts are crumpet. I'm so proud. Oh, you know, like what else, right? I mean, uh, you know, I could do a teacup if you like, but I didn't think that was very manly. And all things considered, I'm trying to give you your balls back. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, thanks, mate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pop him back in the wife's purse when she's not. Looking. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I, I ain't trying to fight her, man. Uh, I don't want her coming at me. She, she's probably looking at her going, Where have they gone? You, you know? know? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't need that angry text, bro. Um. <laughs> Dear Keith, have you seen my husband's balls? <laughs> right, and they're I, not I, where I left them. I, I, I just got you all on my fucking network. I ain't trying to fucking be told you ain't coming out to play no more because I'm a bad influence. Uh, you know, stop teaching him theft is good. Uh, <laughs> give us back what's ours. I told him he could have them back when he's finished cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my days! You know, so I, I try to accommodate everybody with an epic phone. Um, it, it will even have a section where the beard is like it's trying its best, but it's not quite there. Just yes, <laughs> so, so you don't get left. <laughs> I definitely feel like I've been accommodated now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me! Yeah, this is my show, dude. It's so fucking ridiculous, but. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely it love it. I, I just find that you've got a different mug. Like, what the fuck happened there? You didn't go anywhere. Have you got two mugs? 
<laughs> it's the beauty of having people that get to, you know, they, they spot like you're running out or you're empty and they're like, I got you. See oh. that? That's dope. I need to fly in my life. See? One day. Yeah. You when, need a divorce then. When motherfuckers, when motherfuckers <laughs> want to know your height, you'll have all these luxuries too. I, I Is that how we unlock all these luxuries? People. Yeah, want to know yeah, our it height. came. Like yeah, it. it was like an achievement on Xbox. It just popped up like someone wants <laughs> to know your height. And then you advance and you get all this, like, you know, you get coffee fetchers and all this cool shit. It's dope. Achievement unlocked. What was it? Right. 50, 20G, whatever the fuck that G. I, know, I play PlayStation, I don't know what it is. It, it, so. This one's a diamond achievement, too. It, it had the fancy, oh. like, notification noise and everything. <laughs> is that what that was earlier? That was your phone, that was just a notification noise. And I'm so ungrateful. I was sleeping when it went off and I yelled at it because it woke me up. And, you know, so... <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in. And I'm gonna change the height so it's all wrong, just to fucking spite them. <laughs> That'd be amazing. But like four foot eleven or something. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guys on the uh, on the network that's uh, that was pitched to me from Mick Strawn um, actually said, "Yeah, he, I've I've met him. He's actually four foot eight. He just has really tall shoes." And I'm like. <laughs> To be fair, I do have size 14 feet, so I mean that that's not too far fetched, but <laughs> Dude, that's, how did you get that's shoes? 14 feet. It's brutal. Yeah, it, it's tough. Um yeah, it, it's not easy. I hate shoe shopping, it fucking blows uh for that reason, because it is tough. Get it. And then when you do find something in your size, they're usually ugly as fuck, and you want to just use them to bludgeon whoever made the fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> You know, tacky. It's about to beat someone with something. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's just part of the territory. Um, it always it, comes back around. <laughs> well, when you have Russians possibly plotting against you and you don't know, you have to be training at all times in case it goes down. Um, you know, they come screaming at me. I beat them with my shoe, and then I find out from a translator they're just offering me vodka. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In your name, with it, like your own branded vodka. Right. And then I'd be like, see, this is what I told you all on my show. Stop yelling so goddamn much. It creates misunderstanding. <laughs> this could have been avoided. What do you reckon is going to happen when Putin actually does, well, passes away? What do you reckon, like, that country's going to be fucked? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're trying to elect me. Yeah, uh, there you go. Place. They're like, he's not Russian, but he likes vodka enough. Fuck it. <laughs> and you can drink it for days, boys, for do you, days. Do you think they have a Tetris tournament to determine who actually gets to run Russia? Yes. Whoever can, <laughs> I did it before, like, bro. I do now, and I like it. See, whoever can pass level 99 or some shit, fucking, yeah. you're, you're getting they have, they have a choir say in the theme song. They have, they have people who are like, da, 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 come on, everyone else, da, da, da. <laughs> right? And I'm, I'm pretty certain you have to do it drunk, too. I mean, because <laughs> uh, if you do it sober, you haven't proved a thing. Um, like, if you do it sober, are you, the roids. if you do it sober, are you even really Russian? Well, yeah, or on steroids. See, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, they, they put the steroids in the vodka and then they just inject the whole fucking thing. Yeah, they don't give a shit. It's just on an IV, job done. Exactly. That's why they're so pissed all the time. They don't even get to drink the vodka. They just fucking have it put right in. <laughs> I'd be mad too. Yeah, I'd be there with their kids and they're in incubators, so that's just straight in, like through the nostril. Like I say, and they have to be on that for like <laughs> 10 years or something. That, they just have to keep that in the whole time. So uh, Russian schools are just like, yes, the whole lesson. No one learns anything. Oh, sick. <laughs> I, I think I think I could do it. I think I I honestly I could get up there, get elected, and fucking get up to the podium, and my speech would be like, you know what your fucking problem is, and it, <laughs> you know, and I'm just sorry, guys. I love you guys, you know, and then they would think I'm the tits. Uh, <laughs> What's going to happen is in a couple of months, me and Jamie's mind will be blown when it comes on like the news over in the UK. It's like <laughs> Canadian running for a Russian presidency. You're like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and it's going to be a picture of me on a horse and shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah this, <laughs> with a bow and arrow for some random ass reason. <laughs> if you see in the news that I end up dead, don't believe the hype. It was Russia for sure. Yeah, absolutely. We were wrong to you. They heard this and they're like, fuck this guy. <laughs> Mocking him. 
Atlas TV just turned into a campaign trail. <laughs> All along. Yeah, the, the, weird, um, the weird static all the time when it, when it launches and be static everywhere and like, the Kremlin will appear and like Russian flags will appear and stuff and it's like, but it's disappear. Everyone's like, what the fuck was that? Right. Then all of a sudden, it's just like they're having all their like president meetings and stuff like that. They were like, "We are coming over to take over," like that sort of shit. Exactly. It was all a ruse. This whole thing was just a political campaign that I'm sucking you guys into. Uh, yeah, we have no idea what's happening. That's right. I'm trying to get you all on board, which we are very much looking yes. forward to, Keith. <laughs> 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 I'm not. I'm not convinced. He didn't yell that enough. He didn't sound aggressive enough. <laughs> yeah, very much looking. <laughs> much better. <laughs> it's wor- It's working. It's working. <laughs> I appreciate the fucking of the UK though, man, because I get some fucking love over there because they're always in my analytics and shit like all the time, and I'm like, damn, dude, I didn't know fucking the UK gave a shit about me. <laughs> It's because you're a G, Keith. That's why. It's because you're a fucking G. I appreciate it. Or maybe it's because... That's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time. You're a G. (laughs) Maybe it's they love my custom crumpet phones. uh... (laughs) (laughs) What a custom fucking haggis. You know? I got to accommodate everybody. Um, (laughs) We just just got to try and send it Jamie. We start pitching our crumpet haggis shillelagh phone. Oh, one, one. I think it needs to be made. Absolutely. The Tatnus. Wait. <laughs> no, the name completely escaped me then. I was like, I've got to put Tatnus in there somehow. Uh, fuck. <laughs> gone, gone. I'm just going to put this out there now um, to make it seem like I meant to do that. When people look at this phone and say, what the fuck is this? That's what I was going for. <laughs> Oh, oh that was the I love it. And we're back on the countdown now as well. Oh, of course. Fuckers. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, Zoom, you pricks. You know, I mean, I, if you fucking want to keep going, man, I could do another. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm time wise, I'm getting to that point now where it's getting, a, it's getting on. Yeah, no worries. So, yeah, same. But um, I figured. I figured. Keith, man. I mean, this has literally been so much fun. Oh, like, it's always a blast with you. Boys. It's been glorious. I, man. Absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to becoming a part of your TV channel, man. We're so excited. So excited to join. I'm so stoked to see your shit on there, man. Like we've got so much going on right now with this partnership and uh, we're projecting at like possibly a million the first year uh, in terms of revenue, which would be great. Um, Incredible. Uh, so, you know, we got so much going on, just signed the contract. Everything's super cool. Um, so basically, um, the business model is like, we're putting 60% of the profits back into the business, which means the payout for the talent, what have you, we get 20% profit for ourselves as our pay shit like that. Um, so it's going to benefit everybody. Um, and the, uh, of course the business first and foremost, which makes everybody happy. Right. So the more successful that can be, we're talking like apps, we're talking fire stick, Apple TV, fucking Roku. It's, it's now become like way beyond a Roku channel. It's going to be like the whole fucking, yeah. Apple TV, fire stick, fucking everything. Um, and mobile apps to keep it in people's fucking possession at all times. So they can keep up with so it's going to be cool. So it'll give you guys, you know, a lot of eyes on, on uh, the product for you guys too, from like different places that uh, I'm sure you've already hit, but it just expands even for myself, for everybody, really. Um, maybe I'll get more Russian websites. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> that's all it's all. That's all we're after with this. You know, that's the goal. That's, that's, that's the goal. all it is. Fuck the money. Fuck, you know, all that other shit. I just want Russia to say things about me that I can't read because... <laughs> I don't speak Russian. Um, and, and then just tell myself that it's all really nice stuff. Uh, it's probably, it like, is. what a dickhead, you know? And I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Uh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> oh, amazing. But, yeah, can't wait to fly the Tatlas flag high. You know, we're really looking forward to joining the brand. We're looking forward to, you know, we want to do justice. We're not in it for that. We did this because we enjoy doing what we do. 
you know, it's the whole the money thing and everything. So we're not bothered. We just literally do this because we fucking enjoy doing it. We enjoy talking to people like people like yourself. Obviously, you've been on our show, um, which we absolutely loved. It's doing really well uh, as well, just to let you know. Um, and yeah, we do it because we just love doing it. We love talking to people. Well, I'm not saying this shit because you're here and I'm not blowing smoke up anyone's ass, man. But like y'all's show is like probably easily the fucking one of the absolute best I've ever fucking been on because like I didn't expect all that shit, man. Y'all did your research and shit. And it's like I didn't expect none of that. And I was like, damn, y'all got questions and shit where I obviously do things different. Um, but you guys make the whole interview questions thing like work in a great way. Because, you know, like I said before, not to knock anybody in the industry, but, you know, I've gone to like radio shows and shit like that and whatever, um, travel a lot to do radio shows in New York, stuff like that and fucking other places. And, you know, a lot of like the interviews uh, you get are like fucking the same old shit because they have someone higher up above them telling them you have to ask these questions. And they're like, dude, yeah. don't ask those questions. It's. So, you know, on the receiving end, you got to find like creative ways to answer the same questions without it getting stale, Um, you know, reword the same shit. Right. Uh, So you guys fucking just killed it. And it was fun. It was like, damn, you guys fucking know your shit. And I was like, I was tripped, you know, because I didn't fucking know that people do their homework on my ass. Like, (laughs) I didn't know that there's websites about me neither that fucking. (laughs) I, I, oh, like yeah. I don't go down the rabbit hole, right? I don't. I'm not that into myself, so. Yeah, but we appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. That really means the world to us. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was just we want to do justice. We don't want to sit there and be like, "Why do you do this? Why do you?" You know, like you said, all the same questions all the time. We want to make it a conversation. We want to have a bit of a laugh, have a bit of a joke, but still get to know you. It was a blast. Um, thank you, man. That really, really, really glad appreciate you appreciate it. That status you put up saying like how much you enjoyed doing this and that, I was, I was I'm not gonna lie, you almost made a grown man fucking cry when I read that because I was like, this is why we do this because we like to get these relationships with people, you know, hear people's story and whatnot, and it meant the fucking world. Man, you know, I had to because it impressed me that much, and I was just like, shit, I need to give credit where it's due, like I always do, and and in this case, like I got to make that shit a public fucking statement because. I have done so many fucking interviews and shit that it's just like, damn, this one stands out. This one's, you know, one that uh, I felt like shit, that could have gone even fucking, that could have gone four more hours. I would have had a blast. Like I, I fucking, you know, it flew by for me uh, just like this did. Um, this really has. <laughs> it, really, you know, yeah. it certainly didn't feel like that much time had passed, but uh, you know, I've, had a tendency on my show sometimes like i've had yon birch from people under the stairs uh sitting in his car doing my show and we ran an hour but i had a guest immediately after him and he's like dude this was not enough like we got to do this again because I, w- I could sit four more hours with you uh fucking just shooting the shit but you have another guest coming and i was like then let's do it again you know um so that was fucking crazy you know uh so same with um Kenny Olsen from Kid Rock's band fucking uh, we sat for like two hours shooting the shit and he was sitting in his car in a church parking lot because he was doing a road trip to play a show seven hours away uh, you know and he pulled over in the parking lot and gave me two hours of his time and wanted to keep going but I took up so much of his time I'm like dude I I gotta let you fucking get back on the road because you got a seven hour drive ahead of you Um, so that's insane you know like shit like that you just kind of know something worked right um so that's how i felt with you guys fucking doing your show is like damn i could have fucking sat here for long yeah. longer I, I just feel the same way i was about to say the same thing hey right now we could we could keep going but you know i've got a, my lovely other half to tend to right now i know jamie's got work really early in the morning um so yeah but we can definitely do this again man absolutely definitely yeah yeah there's that time zone shit again that i keep forgetting about too so it is later for you guys yeah. <laughs> my day is just getting started and y'all are like man we we gotta fucking do some shit <laughs> yeah i love how we did all this talking as well we didn't even mention our show we i know i was gonna say, say a word about pl- it yeah i was gonna say plug whatever you guys want man because uh, go on jamie well, our show is uh, You Suck Chronicles, part of the You Suck Network. Um, obviously, you had Tom from What's the Difference on last week. Um, 
you can find all of our stuff at www.usucknetwork.com. We, me and Tom, we literally sit down with people. We have a little chinwag ourselves, go into an interview. We've talked with wonderful people like Keith. I just hear their stories. We like to chronicle their stories. It's pretty much all. We've had all sorts, makeup artists, costume designers, musicians, all sorts of different people because we just like to talk to anyone and hear their stories, really. And, yeah, it's just a, a fun old little giggle. <laughs> So check that out, you fuckers, and uh, create a Russian website about them. So now they feel threatened, too. Uh, <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Keith, man, this has been an absolute blast. Loved every single second of it, and we'll definitely do it again. Oh, definitely. Dude. Yeah, really appreciate definitely. it, man. I had a blast. We got to do it again. Um, anytime. Open fucking invitation. Anytime you guys want, just hit me up, and we'll make it happen. I will fucking make you priority. You absolute hero. We we appreciate you. Yeah, we really appreciate you, man. Thank you so so much. Hey, man, it's been uh, looking forward to the TV, dude. Looking forward to the TV channel coming out. That's gonna be a blast, dude. So, All right. So, with that said, have fucking fun doing what it is you're doing. Appreciate y'all, and we're gonna set this shit up again. And I've taken up enough of your fucking time. So, thanks for coming, man. Thanks for having us, man. Cheers, Keith. Take it easy, bro. See you soon. Cheers, man. Absolutely. Have a good one, bro. That was my boys, Tom Stevens and Jamie Westwood from the You Suck Network, You Suck Chronicles, and just my brothers, man. They were the coolest. I love them. They're the best. And uh, anytime I get with them, whether it's on their show or on mine, doesn't matter, uh, because we've done both now, it just flies by. It's so much fun. And you know what they say, man, when... Time flies when you're having fun, you know what I'm saying? And I've had a blast. I thank you guys for kind of joining our conversation and sitting with us while we shoot the shit. It was a great conversation for us. We had a lot of fun. And that's what the show is, man. It's just a couple of, you know, brothers just hanging back and getting caught up and talking about all the weird shit out there. So much love to the UK. I appreciate all the love that the UK has shown me over the years and continues to show me i also want to give a shout out to india for all the love man y'all are like so supportive of the show and i dig it and every other place but uh in ireland especially but uh, india has been killing it lately with all the mad love so tatnus has love for all of india as well and uh, the uk definitely so thank you guys man and uh you know it's it's been so much fun with these guys and to have them on the network now is going to be so cool and uh you know it's a good partnership a good pairing i think um so i look forward to that and shout out to russia thank you for creating the uh websites about me and everything else showing that love it's uh i joke that it's creepy but it's actually flattering thank you it's cool to know that i got love in russia as well so thank you guys for all your crazy websites regarding me uh for all your research looking into me for all your support for everything man being famous is a trip and it's an honor it is not a right but a privilege so thank you so much for all the love and i will catch your asses later bro